Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. Um, I'm so happy to just sit down and read cards for you for a minute. I just got in. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Let's say a blessing and we will find out what this is going to be about. I don't know. So we'll see. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Alrighty, I'm going to start with this Tarot of Wonderland. This is kind of like my favorite deck. It's by Barbara Moore. It's a very popular deck. It reads really well. kiddos. All right, so I don't know who I'm reading for here, but someone's tired of fighting. Someone's tired of arguing. Someone's tired of the conflict and the drama and the chaos. Someone's finally seen what they need to see and they're ready to make a change. And they're really ready to make a change. This person is like, I am so over this situation. And they're feeling kind of positive about it, but a little emotionally overwhelmed. This person's going to have to move. Um, whether it's like physically relocate or like change jobs. I'm not sure if this is related to your love life or your career. But this is someone who's facing a very difficult decision. It's it's hard and this person has to kind of block out everybody else's voice because there may be people involved with them that are saying, no, you should stay. No, you should wait. No, you should do this. No, you should do that. Or yes, you should go. Um, this person kind of needs to kind of block out the sounds of other people and do whatever they feel is really right for them. You know what? I feel like we all have this gut instinct. We all have this... Um, inner voice and it's when we don't listen to that inner voice that life gets really off balance and life gets really off track and this person's dealing with this on a daily basis whatever this is to you you can see how this person is always feeling that they have to stand up for themselves or always dealing with somebody else's chaos here or just always feeling like they have to fight some kind of a battle and it's it seems like this person's ready to move forward and and to let go of this. It could just be other people's input that's keeping them stuck and keeping them where they are. This person may be dealing with financial challenges um, because of this situation. This person's very mentally conflicted but they know the truth. They really see the truth. They really do. Let me get another, well, let's get a few more out with this deck and then I'm going to clarify with another deck because I have this feeling that whoever I'm reading for here, you're going to follow whatever you feel like you should. And whoever I'm reading for, you're very smart, you're very balanced, you're very abundant. Um, you don't, you don't have to stay here anymore. You don't have to do this anymore. You can move forward and you, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay, buddy. It's going to be all right. You're a very blessed person and very gifted and very loving. I have the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles out there, and this is going to be a brand new start for you. You're worried about money. You're worried about um, money. There's also something to do with your self-confidence here. Um, you were meant to be in the situation that you've been in. Absolutely, you were meant to experience this because it's showing you what you don't deserve any longer. Yes, I guess I'm going to use this deck to clarify because I have repeats in here already. 
Um, you've been really mentally conflicted about this for a while. I guarantee. So those of you who are kind of on the, like, if this is your reading, you'll know it immediately, right? Cause you'll be in this kind of situation. Um, start writing your feelings down if you haven't already. I think the best proof is when you go back and you read your old journals from six months ago, a year ago, three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, and you're telling yourself the same thing, that's when you know it's time and it's time to make a change and it's time to be authentic to yourself. Um, you were meant to experience this though because it has taught you something. It's taught you something about yourself or about this relationship and that's okay. Life's about learning, isn't it? You're worried about upheaval. You're worried about a loss of financial stability. You could be worried about a loss of a home. You're, trust me. Oh, kids, this is so good. So good. Repeats, very good. Um, some of you who are in this situation, well, all of you who are in this situation, um, you, you're going to find out how very self-reliant you actually are after you get through this upheaval. There's a lot of stability that comes into your life once this is over and once this is done. With that, I have the Four of Wands followed by the Six of Cups. Um, those of you that are ready to let go of a romantic relationship, you are, it's, it's kind of necessary for you to do so because there is a soulmate, um, twin flame, divine counterpart, like right around the corner waiting for you here. But you have to let yourself be free of whatever this is. Um, oh, so sweet. Love this. Um, and this person is like very open to loving you. I love this. Um, let me get another. Yeah, I guess we're going to use this deck right here. This is the vice versa t tarot. And I've got, oh, I have one of these other cards stuck to the bottom. Um, this is very much dependent on you making this choice for yourself. Um, I have the Nine of Pentacles there, which is the minor arcana of the Empress, but it's someone who's very single, very independent, very on their own. Um, you are working hard to get yourself out of a bad situation, a bad relationship, something like that. Um, can also be in business too. But this feels very much love related because I have the Knight of Cups with this Page of Cups out here twice. It's you facing down some kind of a demon though. Like you facing yourself in this, you facing this other person, you being honest, being honest. And facing some kind of a major ending that's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be heartbreaking, it's going to be awful. Here's the Seven of Wands again. It feels like you've been waiting to make this decision until you knew that this was the right time for you to do it. Um, this relationship may be riddled with toxicity, addiction, or um, just something that you change yourself to when you thought it was the right thing, when you thought this was going to be the thing that you needed, the thing that you wanted, the thing you wanted maybe for forever. Oh, so many repeats. Um, I've got the Nine of Cups out there twice, over there towards the end. Um, something's changed in you. What is it? There's the Six of Swords again. And the Seven of Cups again. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. That's all about change. What were, what were we just saying? This is about change in you. Um, this is someone who says, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready for things to get better in my life. I don't want to live this way anymore. 
This is beautiful. This could be a major commitment in your life, a marriage, um, a major contract, something like that. It feels like you're ready to be on your own and start making decisions for yourself. You know, we outgrow ourselves sometimes. We do. Um, I'm seeing like the world card in my head where we have like a snake that sheds its skin. And like once you've done that, you can't go back in there, right? You don't fit anymore. I'm also hearing jeans. <laughs> But it's all right. It's like you've outgrown where you are. You outgrew, you've outgrown where you were when you met this person, when you started this. And it's time for a change, a significant change. I don't have the tower out here, but I have this chariot, very good. This is somebody who says, I can never go back to the way things were. Things can't go back to the way things were back then. There's no road back there. Where we're going, there are no roads. I think your biggest concern, there's the Nine of Pentacles again, I think your biggest concern is that you're going to regret this decision. Now, I'll tell you, oh, yeah, so about this situation, you may have met this person when you were much younger or you were a very different person. Something about you has changed, something about you has evolved, and this life or this relationship didn't change with you. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Good. Um, you're headed towards a, a life where there's a lot of financial abundance, actually. You're worried about money here. You're worried about losing a home. You're worried about your stability, um, maybe children's stability, even. Um, you're going to rebuild this. I see someone adopting a new dog. Um, rather specific. Um, possibly acquiring more children in some way, whether it's blending a family or whether it's having a baby with someone else. But I see you entering into a life that is very dissimilar to this one with a divine counterpart or soulmate over here. It requires change and a new start and a lot of hard work. And there's the Ace of Pentacles again. That's what I was looking for, that Ten of Cups right there. There's the King of Cups again. Um, and it requires you being honest about this situation. And it requires you allowing other people to help you with this situation. Because I'm reading for someone who is like, I don't think I can do this alone. And you're right. You can't. You can't. Nobody can do anything on their own. Everybody needs help. Everybody needs help in some way. Everybody needs a little bit of help. Everybody needs a little bit of guidance. Everybody needs a little bit of support. Every day has been kind of a nightmare for a while. I don't know if it, we want to say nightmare. It's mental imprisonment. Somebody here has been feeling like this need to get out, this need to make a change for a long time. This can be anxiety, it can be stress, it can be worry. I'm hearing pills, pills, pills. Someone now sees things from a much greater perspective. And someone is saying, I need more equal um, reciprocity here. You may have been in, I'm hearing loveless marriage, loveless relationship. Oh, um, um, this is someone who sees things much differently now than they did before. 
I don't like I have so much emotion now behind my eyes, but I don't really want to fall down that rabbit hole. I don't want to like get stuck there. Just know that you've grown beyond this. Like you're so much bigger than you once were. You can see this person's looking down on their life and they feel so much bigger than what it is now. This is someone who's ready for a change. Now, over here on this side of the table, I have this King of Cups out here twice with this Queen of Cups out here. I have a lot of financial prosperity. I have a lot of stability. I have a new beginning. I have that divine counterpart soulmate energy over here with this Knight of Cups and this page, Knight of Cups twice, the Page of Cups twice, and the Ten of Cups, right? So good. This can be blended family coming together. This is what I was seeing someone acquiring a child or children. And I have a feeling that this person, this uh, there's something very specific about children here where you're going to have like a real connection to a child here. And I have this Ace of Pentacles out here twice, which is you really honoring this new beginning in yourself. Um, this kind of feels like someone who may be feeling a little bit like a freshman in college all of a sudden where you're like, oh my goodness, I don't even know which direction to head in. But just know that whoever you are, you're a hard worker, you're very smart, you're very, very good at making things happen in your life. You're going to get there. It's going to be okay. Now, tell me about this soulmate over here. I'm going to get another deck. One. Yeah. Um, you're a little bit worried about what other people are going to say about this. I would encourage you not to be. I've got the death card on this side. That's scorpionic energy. That five of swords is that worrying about what other people are going to say or this need to be seen as being right and being justified. Um, don't worry about that. You don't have to feel that way. I've got the two of cups out here, which is again, an, one of our other soulmate relationships here. This is going to be the perfect mirror match for you. And the Ten of Cups again when I shuffle the deck. And there's the Page of Pentacles again. Um, this person, this, it's this person that's coming towards you here. And it happens after you are independent, newly single. You have so many repeats in this. I, I mean, we could go on about them, but you have the nine of pentacles out here twice, which is someone who's in a very single and independent energy. It's like once you make this decision, this person is like right there. Um, it's like you, but first you're going to have to be independent and single. You're going to have to make a decision to move and, and physically relocate and buy a new house or rent a new house or something like that. It's like once that happens, that may happen during Aquarius season, which is like at the end of January. That's when this person comes into your life. Six of Swords again. That's about that physical relocation. I mean, heck, I don't know. Maybe this person's physically relocating towards you, but golly. And there's the world. That's exactly what I was just saying earlier. This is you outgrowing yourself. You've outgrown yourself where you are right now. It's time for you to move forward and be a bigger ver version of yourself. Who is this soulmate though? I've got the King of Cups out there again. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I don't know if that's you or if that's the person that you're bringing into you. I've got the Three of Swords out there again. This person may be, so I don't, I, I feel like I'm reading for this King of Cups. You may meet this person online, or you may already have a relationship with this person where you like message back and forth. Ace of Cups and the Strength card, this person could be a Leo. This is somebody who's part of your friend group already, possibly or part of your community already. Um, this happens after you make this change. 
I have that Ace of Cups that goes right on top of the two Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Swords right here that I have. This is someone who allows you to love yourself in a different way. This person is very strong and very wise. This person may carry heavy fire sign energy in their chart. I've got the tower again, that's Scorpio again. <clears throat> Whoever this person is that you're pulling in here for you, um, they could be someone who owns their own business or someone who has children of their own. Someone who, um, they're definitely someone who loves animals and who loves other people. Um, this is someone who spends a lot of time in nature. There's a lot, there's a lot of pink in here. And a lot of softness. This is, um, and I'm sorry, somebody's working on a roof next door to me. Uh, if you can hear that banging in the background. You already know who this person is because you've been juggling feelings for this person with your life as you are, but nobody knows. Um, this person could be a psychic, a healer, a mystic. You could be a psychic, a healer, a mystic, a tarot card reader. Um, good. I got a lot of Leo energy there. You may have met this person during the last Libra season too. Or even Virgo season, which were, they were like right next to each other. There's the four of wands again. This person's been through a difficult ending of their own. They know how to navigate this. They're very smart. They're very wise. Um, this person is, you may share a telepathic bond with this person, which is common when we talk about that twin flame union. You may already experience telepathic dreams with this person or telepathic communication with this person. Yeah. The only reason you haven't already made this change is because you're not actually sure how this person feels about you. And you don't want to have to tell them the truth because you're afraid of them shutting you down. Or vice versa. But this is becoming a heavy burden and very emotionally confusing. Yeah, I can see all of this. Here's the deal. Um, <laughs> this is very beautiful energy. Whoever you are, you have a very beautiful energy. You're very smart, you're very strong. And this person that you're pulling into your life here, um, <laughs> it feels like you already know who they are. They're actually waiting on you to become available here. They're actually waiting on you to make some kind of a major change in your life. And I feel like that's these are the changes that you want to make. Um, but there's I really feel like the only thing that keeps you stuck where you are is worrying about what other people are going to say and worrying about money and worrying about a house. And also this kind of concern that this other person, this soulmate that you have over here, this divine counterpart may not feel the same way as you. Oh, and somebody here has lied about their feelings for another person, whether it was you or this other person. Someone has lied about it and someone is juggling feelings um, for, it's, that's not it. It's somebody is juggling, let me see if I can work it out juggling the feelings that they have for this divine counterpart with their actual three-dimensional life. Rough stuff. Difficult stuff. Yeah, well, it's it's created a lot of emotional confusion in you. So you're right. Um, I think the most important con I think the most important card in this entire spread is that two of swords where somebody needs to block out everyone else's voice. I just saw 2442 on the counter. Um, you need to block out everyone else's voice and get really centered and really quiet 
with how you feel about yourself in your current situation and about how you feel about this other person. And you need to stop fussing about, I'm sorry I'm being so bossy, but you need to stop fussing about what anybody else is going to say other than yourself. And you can't make this decision based on this other person. You have to make it for you first. And then this other person is right around the corner. You dig? All right. You got that 10 of cups out there twice. You got so many repeats in here. I'm not even going to go on about them, but I can tell you, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your energy. I appreciate you letting me read your cards for you. You guys are the very, very best. I love you guys all so much and I wish you the very best day. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah to you all.